Good evening. Welcome to Court Tonight with your host, Graham Craig Root. Tonight, my guests are the fabulous Trish Rooney, vocal coach to the stars, Mike Ryan from the Corn Store, Mr. Uptown Funk, Tom Winter. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining me, guys. I'm delighted you could make it. First show, excited. So, I am, um, so like, did you say I saw a big thing today on Facebook? Um, stuff that happened over the weekend where there was a young tourist came to Cork, um, went on to have a Saturday night out and was wearing a tracksuit and was refused admission. Do you, how do you feel about like wearing a tracksuit on a Saturday night out? Do you think it's accepting? Do you think you should have known better to maybe go with a pants, uh, like a shirt, a pants and a kind of brown shoes kind of thing? What would you, what do you think? i say two guys have the panel. Um. I think it's more how you uh, how you present yourself, how yeah. you actually, at, at, when you turn up the door. Yeah. Because there's other decisions to be made, other factors. And it, did they, I would hardly think, well, maybe they did say, you're not coming in because you're wearing a tracksuit. Do you know? Like, mm. all they had to say was, not tonight, because that's the ju your general line. If it was because of wearing a tracksuit, I think we've gone beyond that. You know what I mean? Obviously, like we say, you know, should people present themselves differently, but like everyone is different and I think people should be entitled to express themselves once people are, de are dressed decently and present themselves well, yeah. you know, and they're not drunk turning up at the door. So there's pro there could be something else to at the other end of that. I suppose we don't have the other side of that story as well, you know. Oh, how about you, Tom? You don't look like someone who'd rock up to uh, Reardon's <laughs> on a Saturday night in the tracksuit. I wouldn't personally, no. <laughs> no. The tracksuits are for the couch for myself, yeah. to be honest. Um, See, we don't really know the story, but I yeah. think anyone, you should be able to wear and express yourself, wear whatever you need to, to express yourself, um, and just turn up as presentable as possible to the door. So that's like, I you think, know? it's actually like, I remember like back in the day, when I first started going out in Cork, you would kind of wear a shirt, your jeans, your shoes. Now it has kind of become with the shows like Geordie Shore, The Only Way is Essex, you can kind of wear the trendy tops, the skinny jeans and the boots and like the runners and it's become acceptable, like the bouncers would like no problem with it. Fashion yeah. has evolved and changed. Tom, I see you're licking the wine. I am. <laughs> it's a nice <laughs> like, red, whatever yeah, it is like, as well. It's like. lovely wine, isn't it? It yeah. is. Like tonight's show, guys, is sponsored by O'Donovan's Off Licence, Verso Fashions, Energy Awareness. Uh, like so, and uh, the show, it's like it's lovely, it's going down well. You're yeah, liking cheers. the race anyway. Absolutely. Yeah. You're really enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> really like it. So, we'll like, we be tapping you up there now in a couple of seconds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, it's, I was in town today, and like, it was, everyone was like, it's a month of Christmas, but I don't think it's you experience Christmas until you go to Cork on Ice. Because yes. I think if you do Cork on Ice, you like, oh, well, I, like, I live out near my hand. It's like when you pass Cork on Ice, I'm like, it's Christmas. Yeah. So like I've like tonight, guys, we have got two tickets to give away for Cork and Ice. So please like this po like this post, tag who you want to bring with you next week, and share, 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 share for your supper. Oh, so fun. like definitely, yeah. it's, I'd love to do it. I I know every time I I've never you done it, never. Like I like I watch Dancing on Ice, and like I like always <laughs> say I gotta go over to Cork and Ice now, and I'm gonna interpret the moves oh, you on have it. To. It's and, great fun. No, I've never been. I've got Avery at my little niece. Great we'll go over next week. I'll yes, do like. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll do, yeah. we'll do. We'll do. <laughs> we'll do the Valero, all <laughs> Torpal <laughs> Lynch. <laughs> so, like, like, delighted to have you on, Mike. Um, one big thing I see in Cork at the moment, kind of, which I find really frustrating. Um, and I think, especially, I think, because I love the city. I love coming into the city. My friends see the city as a trick coming in. They're all going to Mahan. They're all going to Blackpool Shopping Centre. They're all going to Douglas Court. I love the city. I think there's a feel about the city when you go in. But what's your thoughts on the caravan on Patrick Street? Um, personally, well, it, it doesn't help at the moment the way it's been introduced. Long term, I think everyone admit, uh, acknowledges that something has to be done for the city to grow. Yeah. You know, like for the amount of people that, w that we want to entice into the city and we want people to live in the city, a uh, change the format of the way it go from the old to the new, get more people living in the city. I'm 100% behind that. It'll be vibrancy back to the city. The way it's gone about, the way they've gone about doing it, I wouldn't agree with. Um, but can I fix it myself personally? Like It's like everything, shouting from the sideline. Like you don't have the full picture. I know for us, for our businesses, 
inside with cockbull especially because that's more of a trend. So trend you just went to cockbull there and someone yeah. came into my head like a bowl of wings. Where's my wings? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want wings, hot sauce. <laughs> like when I heard you were coming in, I'm very disappointed. You did like, I love an espresso martini. Like yeah. I would have thought you would have seen my Instagram and be like, espresso martini for Graham, chicken wings for Graham. And Next like he comes time. in and he's like, oh, hi Graham. I'm like, where's the chicken wings? Where's the espresso martini? Comes I, in with hands swinging and I'm like, this is what I, I was expecting from Mr. Wings, Mike Ryan. I don't know Corn, how the wings Mr. would go Corns. down. I don't know how the wings would go down now on TV because it'd be a bit messy. Yeah, you know, I, I need them. 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 I need it is killing footfall in the middle of the day. Your friends say it's a bit of a trek to go to Mahan or... But no, like, I, my friends are saying, like, if I say to my friends, let's go to lunch next Tuesday, we meet in the city. No, Graham, it's the city's too much for trek. We'll go to Mahan, we'll go to Douglas, we'll go to Blackpool. That's what they're saying You don't to have me. the same variety. You but I think, what they're, I think because I would easily jump on the bus and go in. They're driving. I think they see it like as a the trek, parking, parking yeah. walking to like a distance. Like yeah. today now I was in town and I can kind of see where they were coming from because we had to park the car. Where we went for lunch was a bit of a walk. Then you're kind of walking back. It's I like hope it was cockpit, no? For the <laughs> <weeks>? No, <laughs> I was hoping they were coming tonight. But, oh, yeah, 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 I, well, I saved myself and all. Like I had a small salad today knowing that you were going to bring my chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I... Oh. Shut, like never happened. Very disappointed. <laughs> like you give me a voucher and yeah, like no. and doing. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the, the biggest problem is with in, with the introduction the way it is at the moment. you everyone says, but it's only it's only one street. The, the biggest problem is for a lot of people, it's forced the, all the traffic onto the keys. All our car parks open onto the keys. Yeah. So you're coming down a ramp to get onto a car park, and there's already cars parked or on the street, not moving. So you're stuck up the ramps. That happens four or five o'clock. So yes, I admit it's very, it is a pain. Yeah. But there's a couple of ways around this. You know, why are the shops closing at five o'clock? Why don't you keep open till eight o'clock? I do know what's that, like, right? Like, you know, I, like, out in Mahan Point, I, it, like, it's open to seven. And like, that's, I, it's open to Monday to Friday, seven. I know Monday to like Wednesday, and then they have to leave open on Thursday, Friday. Mm. And I do think that's a big thing. Like, with the city is coming to a standstill at half five, six o'clock, where really, if I, like, if I was working in the city and I finished work at half five, I'd, so I'd go for a browse and such and such, or I'd like to pop over to Penny's, mm. to have a look at New Look, Top Man. Uh, but like, if you know the stores are closed in a half an hour, you're like, what's the point just to be ushered out the door? Because obviously people have worked a long day, they want to go home. Mm -hmm. But I definitely think the city centre needs to open till seven o'clock in the evening. Or later. Yeah, no, because exactly. Because pe people, mm. like that brings, your friends probably see the convenience side of it because they can actually pop out there uh, up to seven o'clock. Now, I, I have, have you seen the queues going there on a, on a Sunday? Oh, I, 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 I wouldn't go near, yeah, I wouldn't no go near it. I wouldn't go near it. But like the variety in the city, I think it has to be brought out to, people have to be taught there's a variety in the city. And also there's one other thing, there's free parking out there, there's free parking yes, in Wilton. And the like, people don't want to pay for parking. I don't want to pay for parking, but at the end of the day, if you're in the city, you kind of have to pay for that space. Do you know? And it's more circling as well. Yeah, parking that's, space that's is the like problem. Up to One thing mm. though, Wilton, Mahin, Blackpool, and Dr. Court don't have is Cockwell. Like I'm guilty. I've never been to uh, the Court Star, so yeah. I that's just something I need to do. It's on my list to do between it's, now and the end of the year. So it's, don't it's judge the, me. It's the big brother. That's where yeah. the chicken wings were developed. Yeah, I like cock full for me. I go in. I think it's like I love the hot sauce and the wings. I love the set and I love the atmosphere. I think the staff are great. They're very friendly. And I think like somewhere like the cock full is where I like, say so I think my generation especially like to go. Um, so it's trendy food. It's tasty food. Um, you can have a cocktail. But I'm so I think the corn store is definitely. I, I'll have that experience soon. Oh well, you can do both. You can keep it nice and casual there as well. And yeah. cocktails there are. Second to none. Yeah, uh, I think I think we have a sampler here of uh, cocktails. I mean, <laughs> but like, it's sure, grand to have a sampler and then arrive like <laughs> to know like and like no espresso martini. But mm -hmm. like the wine from Donovan's is lovely, so at least we have that. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, thanks, Donovan. No, but see the, <laughs> yeah. the, the secret of a good espresso martini is you have to use a hot shot of uh, an espresso, so you get that lovely foam on top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if I brought that out here, we're gonna flatten you in the like this. <laughs> Great excuse. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, like I. I, I love, say, anything to do with like, the news if it's celebrity based, I follow it. Or if something has happened in like, the reality TV world. But one thing that I do follow in Irish news every year is the budget. Just to kind of keep in sync what's going on, like if it's affected me in any way, or just because, especially when you go on Facebook, especially when the budget's been discussed, it's all over Facebook. So it's good to see what people are ranting about and try to be somewhat in tune with it. 
one thing that I thought was crazy this year was the increase in VAT for the tourism sector. Because yes, it has gone up, like the money that, like when they reduced it in 2012, we have saw a great influx of money since, but we've seen that influx of money because it was reduced. Like I'm working, I like to go for food once a week, have a few drinks, but like if you have to increase your prices now by four and a half percent, does that mean I'm gonna start going every second week? There's a lot of knock-ons on this because mm. one, it affects actually affects a lot of people. Yeah. It, you know, affects Tom as well. Like this whole thing was brought up. Actually, that was one thing I actually mm -hmm. didn't. It was when I looked into it today properly. Like, like the hairdressing sector is affected. Like mm, it's absolutely. it's the full sector that's really mm -hmm. gone experience. And like if what people think for four and a half percent is a lot. Mm. Like it's not because like you're having to add it on along the way, so it's gonna hit the but consumer. But you know the most like like we all have our thoughts about how wrong it was, and I could bore you to death why what how it brought pe brought jobs in and how it actually helps jobs, and people forget about the the local suppliers as well because a lot of chains will have to you know buy you'll have to buy off chains as opposed to the local supplier if people want to keep down the margin because you know it's a set menu is going to go up by three by two fifty to three euro per menu. That's what that's the reality of it, but the biggest, the the most uh, disappointing thing of the whole thing was it was done to bring in uh, four hundred million because it was a shortfall. I of seen that today. It was like three hundred and sixty-six million. Like but do you know what they didn't do? They didn't bring in the carbon tax, and now we're going to have to pay fines of six hundred million. So it's all been negated. So they're going to affect jobs. You know, it affects our business directly. And because they did nothing with the carbon tax, which, you know, we're ob obliged to do and morally we should do. And that's all gone now. That, all that money that's been brought in from the, the, the VAT has now been gone because we're going to be paying 600 million to the EU as fines. Mm -hmm. So it was a madness move. No, it's crazy. You know, and that, that, that amount of, no matter what else was done, that was the most maddening and frustrating thing because if they had just brought in a small carbon tax, we, wouldn't, we would have been somewhat compliant and if they had put up the VAT, at least that VAT would have gone back into the Irish co coffers. What's actually after happening is it's going into Europe as a fine. That's what, yeah. we, that's what they've done. So that part was criminal. You know, it really, really was. No, it is you know? crazy. And I think, and like, I think it will have a knock-on effect along the way because if prices are going to be going up by 253 euro, the likes of myself, who's popping in once a week, that will become every second week. And then what's, like, what might happen then along the way is if less people are going in regularly, the staff won't be, the staff that are currently there, the hours will be reduced. So it just has a knock-on effect, crazy. They do, I don't think it was fully thought of, really, before. No, they do, but it was a money grab. It. It, yeah. was a, it was a pure money grab. And mm -hmm. if, there, there's other theories about, what, and I won't go into that now, about why that was done, because, you know, the print media wasn't touched. <clears throat> you know, so they, they were left at 9%. Um, and, you know, if the media was left at 9%, as in the paper media was left at 9%, someone would think actually there might be an election coming next year. Yeah. Because the ones that were actually paying 21% online are now paying 9% as well. So yeah. it just, it really feels like, like, you know, we, can, we saw from the budget that it was a, a pre, it was a slight bit of a pre-election budget, but this was underhand to leave the newspapers at 9% where everyone else was brought up. Yeah. The only people that were not left alone was uh, newspapers and print media. And do you think they could have maybe split it evenly as that as opposed to putting your sector up by four and a half percent could they have like added on an increase to the two sectors there's a technical part to that which i think that um we're only allowed five or six tax bands and we, yeah. so the only way they could have done it was that they move they move the nine the actual nine percent that was there up into an 11 percent bracket mm -hmm. because they couldn't make another bracket so, but if they wanted to leave print media at, at nine, they couldn't move up. The, the, the rest had to go to 13 and a half. There's, a, there's lots of bits and pieces in it. It shouldn't, it was, to be honest with you, it's, there's, there's lots of twists and turns on, on the whole thing. But the reality is that Ireland is becoming, uh, is always a big tourist destination. But it's becoming a food destination. And, uh, you know, that's what people want uh, that are coming into Ireland. They're not coming here for the sunshine. They were lucky this year. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? They were they really were lucky. Extremely yeah. lucky. But, but the reality yeah, They were kind of misled if they came over this year because yeah. they'd be like, we we'll go to Ireland next year. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know, it could be And then they'd get off yeah. the plane and they'd be like, what's going on here? Uh, yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. So it's all yeah. like very misleading. Yeah. And I so, so I think that um, Ireland should never market itself as a budget destination because we're not going to be and what's happening in bridge with brexit across the water you know uh, uh, sterling will fall 
it's going to make Ireland, <coughs> Ireland is already expensive to the UK market right now. When sterling falls, we won't have any of the UK market probably coming over a couple of years. And that's 40% of it's our tourist base. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it's huge. And then to put the VAT up on top of that to make it more expensive again, yeah. you know, it's crazy. You know, I suppose we could, we, we could go on all night about no, doing that, you know. <laughs> so what we could do, we could have, I suppose, no doubt wish you'd be coming back to us in the new year. And when it's kind of come in, we can kind of like discuss that in the new year. Hopefully, I tell you, people might, the caravan thing might be kind of relooked. Like, like it is hectic because all that traffic is coming out into one way. So like it's crazy to kind of get out of town. Hopefully they might look at it. There might be something that could be done. There's a lot of pressure being done behind the scenes. Yeah. Uh, to see like, you know, retailers don't want to go out there and say, uh, every market doesn't want to go out there and say, the city is struggling, it's being choked by traffic because it just frightens people away. So we, everyone wants to, you know, we don't want to frighten the customer away. So it, the more we give out about it, we'll frighten the customers away. But the reality is, in the new year, when it's January and February and people have no money after spending a lot yeah. of and the, the, it's been shown at the moment that the spend this year is going to be quite high for Christmas. So, you know, the, the feel-good factor is out there and everything else. But, you know, something has to give. Wages aren't going up that fast. So we're going to look at the next, in the new year, it's probably going to be, a very quiet first quarter and when you have people that are deciding where they're going to spend their money and they're not going to do that much as you said man it's easy to get to yeah you know so i think the real effects are going to be felt in january and february and it might spur people on to make a more radical decision but i say this time of year especially is going to be hectic for yourselves for christmas parties especially in the car and store and Cockball, like oh, this, you will be kind of hitting a busy period now, especially over the next. It's already started actually, because like yeah. last weekend, the decorations I, are up two or three weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> last weekend, my partner had his Christmas party, and he was going out the door. I was like, "Where are you going?" He was like, "What's my Christmas party?" I was like, "Cause it's still November." I like, I think this year the Christmas parties have happened earlier than ever, and I'm quite shocked. It was like literally Halloween like was over, and like there was talk of Christmas party. Now I know the retail sector; they're going into their busiest time of year. So I suppose like it's either they do it kind of now or they do it in January because like they've sales after Christmas so they can't do it then. But so it's like this is a busy period now for yourselves and the corn star and but, Cockbull. Yeah, it is more so. In, well, it'll be busy. The more people are in town, the busier Cockbull will yeah. be. But I suppose corn is more the destination that people have booked. You know, corn is like the Brown Thomas Accor. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Ah, well, you get what you pay for. You yeah, know what I mean. Is. But then that's I suppose that's what we've got. we got. As I said, like I would never be a someone that would go for the budget as yeah. i said ireland should never be a budget destination because it should be about quality service and that's what we can do better than anyone else in the world or, as, as a destination because we all know from going on holidays you kind of sometimes you fight, look for the cheap menu you're very disappointed yeah, you very know disappointed. but but the, the same the same for ourselves like you know it's about you know it costs money to get to buy the projects we buy Exactly, and we have a great, we have a fantastic team uh, actually in both in in both places. They they really are, but you know they don't work for free. You know right. what I mean. And if you want to keep a fantastic team, you know that we well taken care of. You know, mm -hmm. which is that's the way the world works. You know, mm -hmm. so you have to come in and pay for more. <laughs> <laughs> Trish, Trish, Trish. Oh God! Uh, I, Trish, I was like, so when I saw the like the lineup that was on, obviously got out my phone, went on Instagram, had a look. So first I go on your page <laughs> and then I, I guess a bit of a, it's like a bit of a deja vu moment because all the songs started coming into my head. So like, Rihanna, where have you been? So I was like, Trish, where have you been oh all my, my life? I need a Trish because <laughs> I'm going through the page. Like my favourite movies are like Pitch Perfect. Love all that. And I'm like seeing all this singing and dancing. And I'm like, where has Trish been? I was like, I come from Tipperary and you know, like I, I, I was strange enough up there. Um, I, could, if I, I would have been a lot strange if I had to start singing, singing and dancing around the place. But where, like, why haven't our paths crossed? Like, so like you said to me you're gonna, like, earlier on, you're going to like, because I performed at a concert in the shower, not concerts that could <laughs> ever be done in the light of day. But like Trish is like giving me confidence I think now that it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely say Yeah, it. definitely. Abs like definitely. a share of calls my idol so like I can like so are we going to say so in like six weeks time I'm yeah. going to be performing we come back on the show and right you're here yeah. do all the moves six dancers <laughs> behind me yeah I'd be weak <laughs> like, like, half, like yeah <laughs> no I can see it now like definitely definitely yeah I can see it happening awesome because like we need like there's no Irish kind of pop star kind of that was so like we like I think Irish kind of music has gone down a very country stream 
like an Irish pop star, like so kind, like taught by Trish Rooney. Yeah, I think it's changed. We've know? had some brilliant students coming out yeah. of the pop degree. We've one a girl, Ruth Brosnan, she's over in LA at the moment. Yeah. And she's a right little pop star, like she's like a little Katy Perry. But like, so there's, there's loads of them coming. But like you've so like anyway. you've done so much experience. Like, like you worked on the voice, like yeah. voice. Yeah, oh, like, I'm really like I have the best job yeah. in the world, really. I get to work it. with singers every day and like exactly. Like I was amazing. It's like a little mix of like glee yeah. and meets pitch perfect. <laughs> yeah. so it's like it's yeah, really we get good. them from like Six and seven, right up to, to adults. No, it's great. I mean, it's great. Like, it's great. especially with the kids as well. Like, that oh, must be so, so rewarding. So cute. Yeah, actually, yeah. They were playing at the Turning On of the Patrick Street Christmas Lights last Sunday. That was really cute. And then I was judging the Teen Idol final there on Sunday and singing concerts galore. And everyone's yeah. coming up to Christmas. Great. Like, so sure, it's beautiful. It's and my just see the confidence. It's my birthday well. the weekend. You could come and sing a song. <laughs> <Anyway>. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, concerns to Brian Rose and Sarge. Like, sing a song. What's your you, favourite song? At the anything Cheryl based, like I just say, like Cheryl, 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 Cheryl. Love made me do it. Like her new song, like you know, if you're watching this, Cheryl, hi hon. Like you know, like it's very kind of anything Cheryl based, but like anything poppy, like little mix, Ariana yeah. Grande, all that kind of stuff. So uh, cool. you can do a mashup for me. I will. I'll, yeah, I'll work definitely. on that mashup for Saturday. <laughs> and like I was looking, like you, like it's a big thing about like, the breeding techniques. Yeah. And I saw like you do a lot of master classes and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so I give um, course singing workshops around, yeah. around the country and, and some in the UK as well. Um, but yeah, as you say, breathing, breathing is one of those so myths like, that singing Well, my partner made. tells me I haven't got a note in my head, is it because I'm breathing wrong? No, see, again, yeah. I mean, people so like, oh, I know, I, Because I'll go, home, I'll go home tonight and say, I'll go home tonight and say, darling, I'm I, so I can, Tom's mad for a glass of red, are you? No, are you mad? No, 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 no. Yeah, are you sure? Go on, have a small of it, go on. Go on. She no, have a small of it. She got no, they have, she got, we'll have a small of it. So how often would you sing her? Me? I do a performance every evening in the shower. But it stays in the shower. So you're working I, out the muscle Yeah, every unless day. I'm in chambers on a Saturday night, then I do like the dance and do whatever like that. But like, I have, we just I, sing a little bit there for me. Oh no, 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 <laughs> no. no I, I, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm sing. nervous enough being like the first show. Like in six weeks time, maybe I could see the routine. Yeah. I, I already have the hot pants at home. Right. The white hot pants. They'll come out. I so I can I'll get the dancers behind me. We'll we'll do a big production. We, we absolutely yeah, will. We'll yeah, do. I'm looking forward to that. Like I can see like my debut single, like Shake What Your Mama Gave You. <laughs> Something like that. Like so so I knock Ariana Grande off the top spot like Brilliant. Yeah, we'll do it. Let's Definitely. Do it. No, it's exciting. Um like so Christmas <laughs> is a big time of year, like so it's like uh, the Christmas concert, is meant to just with music. Christmas concerts yeah. and exams and all that kind of stuff. Oh, it is. But, but sure it's lovely as well. I mean, I've been did. singing Christmas songs for about a month now at this stage, really. Yeah. I think I'd like school more if I had a teacher like you. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have been always on the half. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> but no, like it is. Like I think music is like because I think people get escape with music. I think like Aww. some, as like especially coming over here, saying like if you mute the music on. I think like when you finish work, you listen to music. Like music, actually, even when you listen to the radio, as much as it's at first, it's music. Like so, it's like it's. Like music is like it can it can take you to a happy place. It can take you to a place where like you have memories. So like I was on holidays there a couple of weeks ago, and like I have a song that if it comes on, it like takes you back to being on holidays. It's like it's like music can do so much. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. I was see, I was like on your website. <laughs> and I saw, like, I thought I love snooping. Like, I'm a such a snoop. <laughs> like, anyone who says they don't snoop like, they're like, like, the most outdated like, yeah. website. Like, as soon as I hear a new name, I'm like, who's this? Do you yeah. know what I have, like going on? I was like, gosh, she's fabulous. She oh, can she sing, she can dance. Like, she's the, like, but like, I caught you on the voice. Yeah. Uh, like you just don't vocal work when you're on the voice. Yeah. Voice yeah, of violin. So so Hi, Prissy. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. I was like so starstruck yeah. when I saw them all at yeah. the start, but they're so lovely. Like, it's, yeah. yeah, it was a very good. No, it's like. I uh, love doing it because like, I can always come oh, like love great. my girl band stuff my yeah. girl band so like I always uh, follow the Rachel Saturdays. Rachel are just yeah. great like no, so I, like, I was like, I was, the la I was surprised to finish up like it will co come back to like I loved it like I think it's um, so it's like I like the whole aspect like they like, come out they sing like it's exciting will the chair turn yeah so, absolutely like, it is. and like yeah and like very like, so, like and I find the one thing about the voice is like they come out they want to be a singer where like yeah. some shows they go on and I do like they 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 can sing, but they they kind of want the fame that comes with it. But Absolutely, nine times yeah. out of ten, when they come out on the voice, they're like, I want to be a singer. Yeah, they are yeah. Where, like they don't want to read. They if they they'll do the commercial stuff if because they, they kind of have to these days. Go if you're releasing an album or a single, you do have to do some commercial. But 
they like you'll never really see them in the magazines unless because they don't put themselves in there. Like yeah, anyone's sure. on the voice of doing it because they have the talent, they want to kind of do the gigs and stuff from it. Absolutely, and that's I mean that's kind of what you want yeah. if you want longevity and you you no, want a career actually in music. No, exactly. You have, that's have it. To it care is, about and I think it's better to be <laughs> around long term as opposed to like have two years and kind of like commercialize yourself for like the wrong reasons for two years but like so it's a career you want people by going on take a master buying your tickets so sure. to go to your concert so that's a big thing yeah absolutely. like what kind of like what kind of like what what area do you think we should work on for this debut single i'm excited <laughs> now <laughs> well i need to hear you singing first i know like i can't and let's do i think we should do a lesson next week and we'll take it from yeah. there then and, but like yeah. we can't we've, we've cork on ice as well so oh, please, yeah, <laughs> You need to like, tag who we you're bringing, and as we're share, dancing share, share. Mm. Is that? We can sing as we're dancing at Cork yeah. and Ice. Like very much talented. Nice. The voice on ice, yeah. yeah. The voice on ice. You have a new show. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah but the voice on ice. That's a, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, kind of like. But like you've enough gone on between the corn store and the coffee. Oh, so like, let me that. have this <laughs> one. The voice let on me ice. the voice on ice. The only ice you're going to see me needing now is in a glass. You know what I mean? Have an old gin and tonic. No, I can't sing. No. No. Or actually, even skate. I've uh, no, I've very bad balance like that. Yeah. What about you, Tom? Would you do? Like, would you be going out to Cork and Ice? I'd definitely be going. Yeah. yeah. I'd be a bit one of the little penguins, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. just, just to stabilise you as you're going along, because I'm terrible on the ice, like. No. But I always go just for the crack. Yeah, like it is. Yeah. Like no, I, I definitely kind of head over this year. Mm. I might go over like I've only like a helmet on. I'd be very <laughs> conscious, like falling. I've, I've done it. I'm just afraid yeah. my fingers yeah. are gonna get cut off because I spend most of the time my hands on the yeah. ice. So like it's just like petrified someone's gonna come. Yeah, I know. You know it's yeah, terrifying so, when no. you fall. Yeah. So Tom, Mr. Offtown Funk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that doesn't stick. No, I, mean, I pay you because like I'm all about music anyway, but like. I, I like so I have Rihanna. Where have you been in Trish? And I've missed the uptown funk in you. But and like it's your own fault. Just the way it. it's your Instagram. It's like it's all the funky images. It's your funky. So it's your funky shop. Mm -hmm. It's Mr. Funky himself. Like you know, it's so like that's <laughs> where you're gonna get it. That's where it's gonna it's come from. No, that's like a lot. It's gonna stick now. It's gonna stick. <laughs> we'll see. It is. It's gonna stick. We'll see. But like I was in the hairdresser say first. I should have been over it. So you with have. yourself on North Range Street, mm -hmm. uh, getting all the experience in, mm -hmm. but experiencing like so the Tom Winter effect. But what I think is crazy at the moment is like how hairstyles have changed. I was like, I remember before you go into the barbers, you'd be like, can I just tidy up there, please? Or don't do what you want, kind of thing. <laughs> and I was in the hairdressers today, and like these young fellas are coming in after school, and like and they're like detailed. Like, like exactly what they want like this done that one this different type of phase and yep. like my barber's like what do you want done like whatever you want <laughs> whatever you want but like like do you find how like much hairdressing and has evolved and it's evolved it's massively become so skilled and technical oh absolutely um to the millimeter now like there's so many different ways that you can cut multiple styles you know what i mean um the, when it comes to the men coming in and being precise about what they want, you need to be precise with the cut and the service that you provide to them, you know. Um, but from my side, I'm more of a kind of traditional barber. Um, however, it doesn't mean that I haven't took a skill set from the hairdressing side or whatever it may be, you know. You can learn from everyone, I think. Yeah. And we've just kind of moulded our own kind of method down in shop between traditional barbering and kind of new school hairdressing as such, you know. And do you feel like, say, like the change in society, like this was, like, do you feel like reality TV and the shows, like, like the shows like Geordie Shore or Towie have changed, like, say, even like the way you are, like your own image, do you feel like you're influenced by that? Or do you, like, who's your influencers? My influencers, you wouldn't even know them. No. Um, they wouldn't be kind of celebrity as such yeah. or on TV or anything like that. They are... Pretty much old school but barbers, like I think to for be the honest. people that are going in, sitting in your chair now, mm -hmm. that are influenced by the shows that they're watching on TV. Yeah. So like these shows are kind of great for like the trade that you're in because oh, definitely, like, yeah. they're coming in. Like it's mm -hmm. all these technicals and I, it's just it's crazy how much it's evolved. Like like all these different styles and I kind of looking and like kind of amazed like that. Like it's how like the skill and the talent that it actually takes now to become like a skilled barber who's actually going to do well and. Like that Absolutely. people are going to like go to the efforts of going to North Main Street because they know yeah. the style that you're going to create and That's it. the image yeah. and the feel that you're going to give them in the room with yourself. That's it. Um, 
I think men know what they want now. Yeah, they you know do. what I mean. They're. I think we're mm. we're slowly getting out of that, where it's just like in ten minute chopping out the door again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a ha- when you think like a haircut back in the day was 10, 15 minutes. But like what's yeah. the average time that you could spend with someone now when they come into the chair? We've got time slots for forty five minutes to an hour, but I tell my team all the time: do not let the man out of the chair until you've given your best. Yeah. Until the customer's happy and you're happy with everything that you've done. So if that takes the 45 minutes or an hour plus, that's what it takes. And all of our customers understand that as well. So even if a, a, a particular cut has taken a, a, a longer period of time, the customer who's waiting understands that he's going to get exactly the same service when he gets in the chair, you know. And like how, like I say, when you were like, what made you like kind of go down the hairdressing barber and route? Like, was it something you wanted to do um, from a young age? No, it wasn't. Um, I was told when I was 14 that I used to go to the barbers all the time. Yeah. Every week. And the mother was sick of giving me five punts at the time <laughs> or whatever it was to go to the barber shop. And she just bought me a clipper. Yeah. And she said, cut your own hair. So, you so I did. So and that's hard. Uh, kind of self-taught, yeah. yeah. Um, and I kept it with me from when I was 14 till I went travelling to my time in the military. And I just so happened to jump in a very well-known, globally known barber's chair. And I had a mohawk shaved into my head at the time because I was just back off an operational tour with the army. And he said, who cut your hair? And I said, I do. And he was like, you cut your hair? I was like, yeah. So we got chatting and I told him yeah. my story. And vice versa. And before I left then, he was like, if you ever decide to leave the military, you should definitely see this as a profession. You can make a career out of this. And he was the first person who ever said it to me. Whoever said, yeah, this is an actual career. You know? What I am fascin- fascinated by, for like, especially look- looking at you and like looking at stuff on Instagram when I first mm-hmm. met you tonight when I arrived, the moustache. Like, yeah. How did that come about? <laughs> like, like, you wonder then why I'm like Mr. Uptown Funky, but like, look at like the moustache. Yeah, the tash. Yeah. Hashtag the it used to, it used to, I used to have a beard that used to sit on my chest and, and it just it had to go. Yeah. I, I, the beard got dyed and unfortunately it, I couldn't keep it so I had to shave it off and yeah. I salvaged this tash. And like, is there much like how, like when, how did the tash come about? Like did you, like is there much kind of growth in it? Like, like oh that's about, years, yeah. Yeah. about three years, yeah. It was about three years and now yeah. at the moment. <laughs> three years. And um, styling it, easy enough, a little bit of wax. Yeah. 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 But you do have bad moustache days. Yeah. How's it looking there now, actually? <laughs> Is it all right? Do you, do you, do you, do you drink Guinness at all? <laughs> I, d- oh, I drink a lot of whiskey, but... Oh, that's great. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, I, is it the wine that's keeping it off in place? Or is it, like, <laughs> it could be. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> but like, I'm getting like a little bit of an accent there. Like, are you, you're not a Cork born originally. No, yet. not originally. Um, I've been in Cork since I was seven. Yeah. Was born in Dublin and and raised in, in Nav in a mead and then the family all moved down and I just never caught the accent. Yeah. But I had left I, I left Ireland completely when I turned just turned seventeen. So I didn't really have that long a time to, to hold the accent as such, you know. So yeah. No, because like and you mentioned the army there, like, well, mm-hmm. like how long many years like did it like It was nine you, years in the army so it nine was nine years. Yeah. Crazy. Um yeah. It's a long time, was it? It was a good time, yeah. good and bad, of course, yeah. uh, as there is with everything. Was it the Irish Army? No, it was a, a few different foreign militaries that I would serve with and served operations, Afghanistan, um, all over the Middle East and a lot of Africa so as well. Like, well, a lot of experiences under your belt. I have a few. Yeah. I have a few, yeah. <laughs> and tell me, like, when, like you mentioned experiences, are you watching I'm a Celeb at the moment? I'm not. No? Mm-hmm. Any of you? Small bit. I, yeah. I watched the opening night. It was a Sunday night, wasn't it? I watched it. Oh, then. Sunday night, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it was. Uh, it was actually the first time I actually watched after all these years a full show. Yeah. Was last. It was the Sunday night. It started and it was good. And I saw a bit, bit of it last night. It looks. They're, they're all a bit too friendly, aren't they? <laughs> Have you? Yeah, I, I think no. Well, there's I, no. I there's there's I, no real I, animosity. I do like. think no, no. Like was signed up to go in and start a pot. I do think in time, like like it's three weeks. Like, like I think if it's three weeks in the life of luxury, like there'd be no arguments. Like when you take food away from someone, you oh take the creature comforts away from them. Yeah. There's kind of give it another couple of days now. Mm. 
Um, and I did that thing. What about you, Trish? Will we see you in the jungle the next notion. year? <coughs> what? Will we see you in the jungle next year? Oh, the jungle? No, you no. will never see me in the jungle. See, I, no. I, if I had to pick a show for you, I could see you doing Strictly. You're Strictly. No, I yeah. love that. Yeah, yeah definitely. Great crack. Oh, whatever yourself says, could you see yourself eating some of the stuff that they're eating out there? I probably the already ate quite a bit yeah. of it, to be honest. Oh, you really? Yeah. No, I just like to that bad and they're fashionable again. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I suppose if you put hot sauce on them, they taste good. <laughs> <laughs> nice, and <laughs> nice and crunchy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what you want. Like, so, but guys, the show has gone so quickly. I know. I know. Like, this is crazy. You like finish it. me wine yet, Graham? No. <laughs> I, 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 I know you're going to take the bottle away, which <laughs> <I probably laughs> you would be will. like, oh, sorry, I left my briefcase, Happily. but you're really coming back to get the bottle away. Happily will take so, it. No, exactly. <laughs> Lovely wine, though. Like, thanks mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. Uh Thanks to our sponsors, Verso Fashions, The Corn Store, Energy Awareness. And guys, don't forget, we have got two tickets to give away for Cork and Ice. So please like, tag who you're going to bring with you. I know I'm going next week with Trish. <laughs> Um, so like, that's going to be a great time. Um, so what did you ever see on Dance the Nights? Do you do the headbanger? Are you going to be so brave to like leave out your leg and I'll do the whole... That would be so cool. Yeah, we're going to do yeah. it. Oh, we're definitely yeah. going to do it. Signed yeah. a disclaimer. My sister broke her wrist years ago in Australia. The two of us thought we were going to be like brilliant uh, ice skaters. So we were trying to like fly around the place or legs up in the air and yeah. do twirls and go backwards and then she fell. Because I know if I, I, when I go there and I, when I go there <laughs> next week, no, I'm going to get, cold, I get <laughs> when I go there next week, I'll get notions. And especially if there's a song on, like that I'm into, like I'll just take off. Like, yeah. And I might and do like a little, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, exactly. But like, Guys, like, tonight's gone so quick, but like the good thing is we're on again next Tuesday at eight thirty. <laughs> so I like, so I'll be back again, excited for that. Uh, first show under the bus, so second show next week, guys. So please come back next week, Cork tonight, eight thirty. <laughs> okay, next week eight thirty. So I like, this week is gonna fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well done. Well done. Awesome. Give me a drink. <laughs>